this normal? I don't know. My sister's never told me anything like this. When does Cleopatra wear Tevas? What's this? A proclamation. Read it. Out loud. All hail the senior mascot, Her Most Serene Highness Queen Cleopatra. All hail the class of 2000, rulers of Evergreen. Your wisdom and magnificence hath no equal. We, your minions... Minions. <laughs> minions. We, your minions, salute you. Use us as you wish. Beautifully done. Thank you. For all you sophomores who may not know, before you now stands superlative class of 2000. <laughs> We've waited a very long time for this. Now go out there and nab yourself a sophomore. <laughs> Sophomores, don't resist, or someone's bound to get hurt. Oh, no, no, no hair pulling. I... And remember, only one slave per senior. You. You. You'll do. Guys, it's a week. For a week, you just do what your senior tells you to do, like carry your backpack and make her breakfast and eat those gross concoctions that she'll make out of like granola and ketchup. I have a gag reflex. I, I can't be. I feel for you, Phil, really, but you're not going to change a 100 year old tradition. Trust me. Try to be, you know, creative, and I'm sure that your senior will go easy on you. Anyway, who chose you best? Judy. Cassie. Um, Jolie. Jolie Catlin? Yeah. I mean, she seems, you know. Gay? Right. Yeah. Uh, you knew? Well, I sensed. You sensed? Which sense led you to that conclusion? Smell. She smelled gay. Yeah, well, Cassie smells like a big old bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but I like that. I like that. She's hot. She's bitchy. She wants me. <laughs> I think sex slave is pretty much implied. <laughs> and Judy? Judy, I don't know. She smells kind of like, um, fresh dillweed. <laughs> Phil, I need you to clean my locker. Oh, yeah, absolutely. My pleasure, ma'am. Actually, could I also just say how lucky I feel to have been chosen by such a smelly... in a good way. And, you know, forgive me for saying so, but attractive handler. I have a plan here. There is power in submission, okay? Do we? Listen, I saw this in a movie, okay? There's this British actor, and he plays this servant who works so hard for his master that the master becomes, like, gradually dependent on him. And he winds up in the servant's pocket. By the end of it, this guy is, like, drinking the dude's whiskey. He's doing his fiance. Except that British actors are, like, suave and sophisticated, and you're, like, filthy. Listen, Jed, the last thing I want to do is make your life miserable. That's good. I mean, I, I, I want you to know that I don't have a problem with you being, you know, gay. <laughs> I don't think we have to whisper, Jed. I wear gay pride t-shirts. I came as Martina Navratilova for Halloween, I think. 
Everyone pretty much knows. <laughs> Beth. Jolie. Hey. Hi. This is little Kate. Hey, Kate. Hey. Watch out for Beth. She'll, like, never let you out of her sight. And even when she does, she'll still page you and email you. And, well, I wouldn't do that to little Kate. Because Kate wouldn't just not show up at the movies when we specifically arranged to meet by the ticket booth. And not return my pages when I got worried. Well, maybe Kate has a life. Well, maybe Kate has feelings. We have Glee Club. Glee Club? Glee Club. Glee, Glee Club. Club. <laughs> I just can't see those two together, can you? Beth and Jolie are... Uh... Uh, were. They broke up. <laughs> you cannot believe this. There's got to be like 80 seniors in this school, and somehow we end up with a feuding lesbian. <laughs> Say 1.30. Yeah, I was shooting some hoops. And now it's, um, it's 2 o'clock. Oh. My friend Jolie said that her little jet is very prompt. Okay, well, I'll go change. No, no, no. What? <laughs> you work out? Well, you know what they say. Exercise is good for the mojo. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, you have some very nice muscle tone. Thanks, thanks. I'm not really sure that I like your name. How about we give you a new one? Something befitting to such a magnificent slab of manhood. Cool. How about Dorothy? <clears throat> Dorothy? Yeah, I've always liked that name. You can't call me Dorothy. Oh, see, um, that's the funny thing. I can. Let's say it together, shall we? Dorothy belongs to Cassie. Look, I have... Just say it. Dorothy belongs to Cassie. And, um, because Dorothy was busy playing basketball when Dorothy should have been working, Dorothy's gonna wear his gym clothes for the rest of the week. Now go get my frisbee. What? Fa riz -bee. Up the tree, bonehead! What is your malfunction, Dorothy? Get up that tree! What's up, Rob? Sissy. Sissy. Oh. She dumped me. Oh. Oh, that's odd. <clears throat> it's too bad. Oh, man, you don't get it. You're always getting dumped. No one's ever dumped me before. Ever. Yeah, ouch. Did she give you a reason why she dumped you? Yeah, well, it's complicated. I'm not sure you'd understand. Try me. I slept with her best friend. She came on to me, okay? I, she put her head in my lap. I, I got stirred up. Look, please, no details. It's so unfair, man. We're in college. You know, I, every guy I know is, like, bursting with hormones. I let mine off the leash one time. In three months. And Sissy, she just goes ballistic. Hey, guys. What's going on? Sissy dumped him. Uh, Rob, I'm sorry. He had sex with her best friend. Once, it was one lapse. So what, now I'm, I'm condemned for one moment of weakness? Let me tell you something. If this was Italy, we would not be having this conversation. What are you talking about? Well, the Italians, they, they, they're way more sophisticated when it comes to this type of thing. See, the guys over there, they cheat on their wives all the time. And the wives are cool with it because... Rob, I think that's in Italian movies. And well, at least it happens in their movies. You know, in American movies, a guy screws around and, oh, you got psycho chicks riding roller coasters and boiling rabbits. It's all out of whack. <laughs> Pretty good. All lesbians are good at basketball. It's in the rules. Really? To be a good lesbian, you have to be good at basketball. Get that long in the back, short on the sides, lesbian haircut. Love chicken wings. <laughs> and they all hate men, of course. Do I act like I hate men? No. Ugh, I gotta work on that. <laughs> all right, okay, thank, 
thank you. let's hit the showers.